I did everything you told me to do, Nancy. Do I actually have to put the food bowl in? Okay, what's the point of the slow feeder then? Oh, good to see the Bernard! Somewhere they can really stretch their legs. I love this guy. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Bernie certainly seems impressed. Did He's he do so a funny. A joke. Every time we get an ostrich. So now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better. Let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? No. To make it easier for the Got keepers him. to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals. So they should be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. Ooh, we're gonna put it on an angle because we're fancy. Ready? Invalid rot What the hell are you talking about, invalid rot I'll show you an invalid rotation. Oh, fine! Kill my creativity, why don't you? only has space for one keeper. But the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, but bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness. D uh, why? Negatively. <laughs> In case that Okay, was. Nancy, that joke sucked. Something that don't quit your day job. Shops and a whole host of other objects need is power. And that obviously includes your newly built keeper hat. So let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? It now, really. The everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. The game so really does not want me to make things in triangles, do they? Or bottom left to turn the heat map off. The game really doesn't want me to put things on angles. <laughs> Invalid rotation. It doesn't want me to put the thing in at all. What was that thing about things being blue? I wasn't listening. What? What is an invalid rotation? How am I supposed to put this thing down like you're telling me to do when I can't put it down anywhere? <laughs> invalid rotation. Oh, it has to attach to the path. Put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal tigers. We want to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. All right, tigers. I'm gonna go here. Your next job is to build a habitat. From scratch, <laughs> wood and concrete, I expect. <laughs> so go ahead and build it, and don't forget the habitat gate. It's always best to place the habitat gate close to the keeper hut. As it happens, there's one quite near to the trade center. Oh, and make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. Okay. You want them to see the tigers? Oh, they'll see the tigers, all right. If I had it my way, I'd put them in the exhibit with the tigers, but the game doesn't want me to do that for some reason. Doesn't want me to delete everything for some reason. Also, she said wooden concrete. I say no to both of those, and I say glass instead. The guests will see these tigers, whether the tigers want them to or not. How do I make it not do what it's doing right now? <laughs> it's on some weird bend. Is that my fault? Probably. Is that my fault? Is that a serious question? Of course it's my fault. Um. Hello? Nope. Turn there. Okay. Like, we really don't need glass back here, but I want the tigers to, you know, see where they could be and not be able to get to it. Kind of like a fish in a fish tank, you know? Be like, hey, fish. You could come out here, except you can't because there's an invisible wall in the way. And actually, there's no water out here anyway, so you drown of air. Drown from air. So, you're welcome, fish. Did any of that just make sense? No, but that's okay. Let's get a door. Boop. Now, 
Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos, so we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? No. I the want them to. Is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. <gasps> okay then. You should start by double clicking the habitat barrier. Which okay. Will take you into barrier editing mode. Okay. Great. Now highlight the entire <laughs> perimeter of the habitat. Oh. You can Whoops. Do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. Oh, look at now me you've go! Got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the Where? barrier height tool upwards. You'll want to make sure it reaches a minimum height of four meters. Where's where's the height tool? It's gone. There's nothing to grab onto. Look, it's a train. Wait a second. How on earth did I select this one as well? Did I? It's highlighted. That can't be much. I don't know what's happening. Oh no, what have I done? No, don't call a mechanic. All right, is everything good now? You're gonna you're gonna behave. Is it because I accidentally got the door? That's it. I accidentally got the door, wasn't it? The problem. I bet you it was. That's how they get you. Okay, that's we did it. Habitat boundary complete. The habitat gate in place. And good. Most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. Hooray! I think it's time we adopted those tigers. Yes. Let me add it. We need to give them names. Alright. That's a lot of money, but hey. Bernard is rich, so... Wait. Listing details. Customs seizure. Was somebody trying to import these things illegally? And they got seized at customs? So now they're mine? <laughs> Amazing. Okay, we want to also add you to zoo. Whilst our trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers, let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. Yes, let's. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. Oh, I got this. Ready? Food tray. It doesn't matter where I put it because they get no privacy. <laughs> This time, instead get? of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. A pond! Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can go for a swim, but they can also use it to drink from. Hooray! All you have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice, refreshing drink. There's already a pool excavated, but Good. you still need to fill it with water. You should do that by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. Come on, let me do it. Let me flood the exhibit! Nicely! Of course, just like the warthogs and ostriches, these tigers will also need some enrichment. Why don't you add some suitable toy and food enrichment items? Frozen into their blood pumpkin. Rubbing pad. Okay, it's really starting to take shape. Now, the tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely the bad weather. Although, given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as normal weather. <laughs> Suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. I don't know what she told me to do. I was too busy laughing at her tremendous joke and naming my tigers. I will name you. There we go. All right, Stripey boy, raw XD. <laughs> Shelters. Okay, remember how we were saying we're giving them no privacy? Oh, poor dabs. <laughs> I'm sure it can't have escaped your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. I was gonna say, is it so because the their exhibit's the horrible? <laughs> because their exhibit's pretty horrible. So maybe that's why they're miffed. Rightio. Click on the terrain tab. That way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel about the different types of terrain. Oh man, that's that soil! That'll tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. Okie dokie. Okay then, open the terrain editing tool, select painting, and give them some more soil. Yes, that should help with the habitat part of their welfare. Do you want more soil? Oh, no, we put way too much soil in. They want long grass. 
Oh no, they want short grass too. Oh no, they want less long grass. And more short grass. Oh no, now they have too much short grass and now want long grass. Right then. All animals need Perfect. plants and trees from their own biome or continent. You know, deserts, savannas, or Asia, Europe, that sort of Everything's thing. Everything's terrible! It looks like these tigers need a few more plants in their habitat. To get a perfect fit, use plants from the rainforest and temperate biomes that are native to Asia. Although if you have to, you can get away with using just one or the other. The tigers will also want a certain amount of their habitat to be covered by those plants. To find out which plants to use and how many, select a tiger and go to the environment tab. Now, as you can see, some of the plants currently in the habitat aren't quite right for the tiger, like the wattle bushes. You can remove them if you want. I just you love- Oh my god, seeds. shut up, Nancy! And you can I'm trying to commentate, and sports. you're making it freaking impossible, lady! I love how the grass, it's like we almost have too much short grass. We almost have too much long grass. We barely have enough soil. We barely have enough rock. And sand is just weird. They don't like any snow. It's kind of rude. All right. Um, what do you want? You want plants? You want some of these plants. But you also don't want some of those plants. Oh, wait, no. These are the bushes you hate. So we got to kill those bushes. Spray them with pesticides. It's the only way to get rid of them. Are you a waddle bush? Goodbye, waddle bush. Waddle on out of here. Go to the penguin exhibit if you want to be a waddle bush, idiot. All right, what else didn't they like? Some kind of tree, I thought it was. Hook thorn. Get out of here, tree. All right, now what trees do they like? They like Asian trees. Is that an Asian? No, a balboa tree is not... Boa, bo, boabab tree is not Asian. Pretty sure it's not Asian. Let's find out. Oh, wow, it is. I was going to say, I knew it was Africa. <laughs> that thing is giant. Do they want more? Boa, ba, 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 trees. I did it. We got the silver star. <laughs> they say Easy. The good make good neighbors. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> Still, those tigers look so happy that I doubt they'd leave. Even if you did oh, poke a hole in their beds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but for heaven's sake, don't test that theory. Stop. Right, let's head over to the Stop. Indian pea farms. I told that we need to improve their social All right, what do I need to do? What did she say to do? I wasn't paying attention. Bernard is just slaying me. <laughs> Alright, there's a thing over here. Now then, oh, just God. find one of the pea fowls and select oh, them to open an wait. information panel. Huh? And this is an exhibit? I thought this was, this was a maze. Would just be for geese. <laughs> I literally thought this was a Expand maze for the guests. Welfare, and we can get a bit more detail. All right. Do they want to make babies? Uh, well, they've clearly got plenty yes. of space, and they're not stressed. But it looks like we need more. Isn't quite right. So let's find out more. They need. Click they want. The see. At the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. They want to be able to make As babies. You can see, the pea fowls need their population to be larger. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female pea fowls. What do you think I'm trying to do? Well. Off you pop to the animal market. Are you kidding me? Are you yelling at me to get to the animal market when I've been sitting here waiting? God, I really can't stand Nancy. If I had it my way, she'd be the first person I'd feed to the grizzlies. Not gonna lie. Alright, send them to the zoo. Send to the zoo. And send to the zoo. Good work on those pea fowls. I expect they'll be delivered soon. Yeah. But sadly, it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit snow grumpy. Leopard. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with it. Okie dokie. Over here. Uh, I can tell you why she's upset right now. Without, without looking at any stats or anything, it's because you idiots controlling the zoo thought it would be a good idea to give 
the snow leopard a fraction of the snow that a snow leopard probably requires, and then everything else is dirt and grass, plus... Okay, there is liquid in there. At least they got that much done. Just like people, animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. You know, like when you see someone put in the milk before the tea bag. In the case no of one does that, Nancy. Animals, Shut up. A bit stressed by the lack of privacy. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Swapping out the normal glass barriers for one-way glass. Oh no! But I think they're worth the expense, don't you? Wait. This will give the snow leopard somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. What about the Bengal tigers? Their entire exhibit's nothing but glass. Oh, they're probably a little upset as well. One-way glass. Edit, edit barrier. One way. Wait, I'm doing this completely wrong, which is fine. Wait, what is this box over here select? Who puts a freaking freaking it's freaking frick? Of course, when an animal isn't in its natural biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Unsurprisingly, for the snow leopards, it's, it's I can too see hot. through that. Even with the terrible British weather, you should help yeah. cool it down by adding some coolers no to duh. the habitat. But let's start by opening up the temperature heat map. Let's start by adding snow. The Whoop. Temperature Whoop. In the Whoops. Habitat. There we go. There, I solved the problem. I gave it snow. Wait. Where did the snow go? It's, is it melting? It's melting, I think. No, we gotta fight back. <laughs> I ruined the grass. Maybe that's why I need the coolers? Also, where'd the cat go? Oh, there it is. God, it is adorable, isn't it? It seems pretty happy. Except it wants more snow. Um, Heaters and freezers. It's kind of hard to put a freezer in. When you don't give me the option to put a freezer in, lady. Probably should have been paying attention to what she was saying instead of ruining everything. Let's get rid of this bramble bush. I guess that's something I can do. Except I don't know where it is. Is that it? No, nope. no, nope. there you are. Goodbye, bramble bush. Just kidding, I can't delete it. Oh crap, what does she want me to do? Nancy, come back. Nancy, help me. Can I copy it? Wait. Oh, do I have to change it to be colder? Did I win? Is that what you wanted, Nancy? Are you proud of me? Nancy? I feel like I'm freezing the thing to death. I don't think that's it. Is it because I destroyed the exhibit? Yeah, okay, wait, animal's too hot still. See, we already have one cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Damn it, Nancy, that's what I was trying to do! But you'll need to make oh sure my of that in the future. God! Just so you know, if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. Freaking Nancy! You can find heat maps for all sorts of helpful things, so do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. I can't stand Nancy. I It'll literally take a cannot stand her. For the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters, but now we've got the coolers in, we can address the leopard's terrain welfare. It you needs see, what snow. What really want in here is snow and rock. So let's Told ya. Happen. Oh no, the snow is coming back because remember it is snow, but it's all melted. Well then, all of that should give you a pretty good understanding it. of how to make animals happy. So I'd like to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. That'll increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. And that average welfare is a very important statistic. Now, to quickly see how all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then into the animals section. Okay, let's look at how terrible all our animals are As doing. As you can see, this list shows you the animal's overall welfare. So oh my god. if something's amiss, then you can quickly pop over to them using the location. Wait, system. what's wrong with these lemurs? Right. I'm off for a cuppa while you make sure all the animals are well looked after. Nancy, what did you do to the to the lemurs? Did they escape? 
Did they escape and I missed it? They're in boxes. And they're being treated horribly because of it. <laughs> did they, how did they get in those boxes? They're hungry. Well, now their welfare is way better. We have to get to, what, 80 to finish this thing? 75 is the average, right. Are they protesting? Oh my god, she's protesting. Hey! Oh, they're angry about the low welfare. Well, guess what? I fixed it, so get out of my zoo. Can I drown you? I can't even move. Can I rename her to Stupid Idiot? Because that's what she is. A freaking idiot. Yeah, the welfare of that lemur behind you. Yeah, look at that welfare. 75. It does need more enrichment, though, and the habitat apparently sucks. The terrain is off. Alright, what's wrong with the terrain? The grass needs to be shorter. Okie dokie, I can do that. It also wants more soil. Can I change how big this... Yes, I can, okay. That is snow, which is wrong. <laughs> yeah, it just wants less grass. I don't know why it wants so much dirt. It's weird. Fine, I'll give you more dirt, you weirdo. Okay, we did it. Um, that thing has to be deleted. It's so bizarre how so many of these exhibits have stuff they don't want in it. Wait, why? Why was he just packaged up? Where do they- wait, are these new ones? What is happening? Wait, why do we have so many lemurs finding themselves in boxes? <laughs> what is going on? Look, they just keep on getting trapped! Why? Oh, I'm so confused. We need more enrichment. What do they like? Oh, man. Do they like chew toys? Probably. You guys like chew toys? <laughs> oh, it probably tells me what they want. Food enrich- Food en oh. You want a blood pumpkin? I don't think they want a blood pumpkin. They're lemurs. <laughs> they already have a- Oh, no. I was gonna say, they already have a chew toy. It's the one that's on my mouth. Mouth? Mouse. Is that what you want? A slow- Why? Why do they keep getting boxed up?